So we met someone out here, so he was left by his group. So, but uh, we gave him a uh, ring here, and then he's happy now. And then uh, we request him to join us and then visit the, the lake. So it's, it's, it's snowing, see, you can see out there, it's snowing now. It's snowing now. And uh, tea is being prepared. Morning guys. Morning. How was your night? It was nice. Enjoyed. Very cold. Very cold. Very chill. You ma gade be? Toa. Bere masula. Chandi. Chandi shindi bhi mera. Chandi bere masula. Okay, kalle na this. Hmm, this is rice. People eating rice. We have dismantled our camp and then we are moving towards the lake. It will take another three hours from here. I can see Timbu from here. I can see a small team pool somewhere here. Okay, so we are almost near to the pass. Pass. So when we wish to pass, we normally say. Hagelo, Hagelo, Hagelo. So I'm finally here in the pass. My dad is ahead of me. So here yeah, we're in the La. 4,100 meters above sea level. It's cloudy. So we, when we are in the pass, we normally say, Thagelo! Kenju sum chap susi! Thagelo! Wow! A doggy! Okay, now we can see a lot of rhododendron forest cover here so we have climbed the path let's continue rather than in forest locally known as etometo etometo lake pupot palas let me do me hope uh, my dear friends are enjoying watching my videos do send love to command. Akelo! We have a small cave out here. If it heavily rains, we can take shelter in this one. We have the fire for the fire also. So these are basically the nomads shades. We are 
Now, yet another pass at 4,220 meters of sea level. So, I caught them up and having a good time. So, let's see the view. So you can see out here, my friends are here. So on the Lutashna, this one out here, uh, it's a mini gate pass. So ancient times, uh, basically, this uh, is like a mountain gate. So people, if there's a disease like coronavirus or something those days, they cannot pass through this. So there will be security guard here. And then even uh, they have to pass uh, they have to pay tax while passing from one e one place to another because this route is Thimpu, uh, Thimpu to Paro or Paro to Thimpu so basically people when they pass by this route they might have to pay a uh, few coins or barter system or something so this is nice so you can see a formation of a lake which now it's no more maybe it's because of the earthquake and uh, freaking growth of the Himalayas. Uh, snow up there. How is it going? Yeah. How is it going, Levi? Going very well. Very well? Yeah. <laughs> good. Very good. <laughs> you can see it. It used to be a beautiful lake out here so this is how the nomads people uh, live uh, while raising the yaks in the mountains and a few of the families stuck out here mm. so we are here at the uh, I mean half point so um, just stop by because it's snowing and then we decided to prepare a tea so and then also we met someone out here so he was left by his group so but uh, we gave him a uh, rain gear and then he's happy now and then uh, we request him to join us and then visit the, the lake so it's, it's it's snowing see you can see out here it's snowing now it's snowing now and uh, tea is being prepared and thank you once again for you know all the love and support So my dad got a company, so we asked the guy to join us and then he has joined us.
Nale mata di gado selung ni le tinjau si joni mes. Ah, nale mata selung ni le tinjau joni mes lebi. Ni apa nak so? Oh. Ah, so we can see one lake. So name of the lake is Simakoti So. So it's clearly mentioned here. Simakoti So. And they're coming. And this is the the lake out here, Simakotizo. And this route goes to Jiminanto. And uh, this is known as Trukpat. So we are going to Dungso up. Way to Dungso. Tanale berdua lebih kaya tadi. Tunggu se. Kamu tadi. Jimilan so. This will follow to Paro. So Paro you behind this mountain is Jelazo. So tunggu se. Near by now. So that is Jelazong, Jelazong, and then you can see there. So from here behind this mountain is Paro Valley. You can see the Paro Valley. We can check the pass a little bit. So uh, I'm almost about to reach to Dunso, but before that we can see one more lake, one more so here. So name of the lake is Janato. See here Janato in Janato. So that is Janato and that is Simogoto Simogoto. So uh, my dad they're going from here so we will be walking uh we can see the snows right sunny so we decided to stop here for the lunch and we'll head towards our destination. See the snow, snow. Uh, lunch at 4,200 meters. Okay, so this is one of the Dungso Tso. So, we can see they have given the information. Dungso Sham. So, few more minutes walk, we will reach to the main Dungso. So, having a good time once again. Chapsa chill. Who was 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 who
Welcome to Dunso. How was the day long trek? Uh, very good. I'm doing so. Chat hello. I'm loves the game. Yeah. Chevana. Check palm. I think. Hello. Sit. Ah, wait. I'll take With your love and prayers and support, I have made it here with my dad. Finally, I could bring my dad here. We are here uh, approximately at 4,200 meters. This is the average uh, elevation. And uh, my dad is currently praying up there. He is offering some uh, prayers to the local deities. And this is Dung Tso. Dung Tso is very beautiful and it's really big it's uh, approximately 20 acres the area is 20 acres and then if you walk around it's 1.5 kilometers and and with the blessings it's very clean right now so you know normally it's very foggy so it's very clean and uh, from here we can uh, continue our route to other other uh, areas like other store the Sosumte and then Gengen Lato and then we can go and then end from even from uh, Jimilanto and then uh, Telungne also we can uh, go by Gengen Lato and end from Dechipu and this one out here is uh, another part of uh, Dungso, Dungso Me so this is the other other part of uh, Dungso. This is also part. So we are here, and then thank you for all the love and support, and uh, do uh, support me, and then do subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'm gonna show you more places uh, wherever I go. And uh, thank you so much, and I'm gonna end my trip here because this is the the final destination with my dad because i have promised and then finally i have made it possible uh, with my dad so i'm very happy and thank you so much and